Hello, you bros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy, Alvin Drill. And as you can see, I just turned on this computer and this message shows up. Enter password. I cannot see the Windows logo, the Linux logo, or how to access the BIOS. So as you can imagine, I don't have the password. So this is an Asus Maximus 8 Hero motherboard. Can be any other model, can be any other brand, Dell, Lenovo, or any other. The process is going to be similar, but we have to reset the password. So as you can see, I cannot do anything with software because it doesn't allow me to do anything. So we have to do something with hardware. So this is the, the desktop. I'm going to shut it down. Allow me a few seconds to put it on a table and we can continue working on this. So I put the computer on the table and opened the case. So the first thing is I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I don't damage the circuitry. So this is the power supply. Uh, the power is disconnected, of course. Um, I have two video cards over here. The first one is for gaming and the second one is a Tesla K80. So if you're interested in how to install a Tesla K80, I have a video for that. You can click on the top right of this screen. So we have to look somewhere on the motherboard, two pins or pins with jumpers. I have put two pictures on the right, but the funny thing of this model is if it has neither. So this model has a button, the CLR CMOS button. So you can see it with an arrow over there. So this is the one we have to find. That's why I decided to do this video because uh, it's unusual, okay? So we're going to look for those for that bottom and you can see it over there so exactly as the picture above so what we have to do is press this button for around 15 seconds okay so i'm finding a way to press it so i'm going to press it now the video is sped up but i press it for i believe 15 12 seconds okay so after we have done that we have to put everything together connect it back and we're going to try and see how it looks so allow me a few seconds and we are going to go back to the computer after a few minutes, I put everything back together. I'm going to turn on the computer. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. And as you can see, I don't see a box that asks for my password. So that's good. But since we have reset the BIOS password using hardware, we have to press Dell or F2. Otherwise, we are going to be stuck on, the, in this, on this screen forever. So now we see this screen and we have to press F1. You can read all that, but we need to press F1 to go to the BIOS. And we are in the BIOS right now. So after a BIOS password reset using hardware or the button, we have to go to the BIOS, okay? So once in the BIOS, we go to main over here and we scroll down to security. So here we see the admin password and user password. You can read all the explanation over there, but the user password is the one that was configured on this computer. That's why at the beginning, when we turn on the computer, it asks us for a password, okay? So the admin password is the one that allows us to come here to the BIOS where we are right now. If you only have the admin password configured, you can go to Windows, Linux, but you need a password to come here. All right. So the process we have seen in this video, uh, both uh, it works to reset both passwords. So once you're ready, you go to exit. It took me, I had to do other things in the BIOS, so that's why the time is different. I believe it uh, 38 minutes later, I did this. So you go to save changes and reset. And it's going to tell you, you have not made any changes to the BIOS setting. You have to save it anyway, because if you do, if you don't do that, and you go to discard changes and exit, the, it is going to ask you the password again. Okay, so that's important, save it. So uh, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and this process took like 45 seconds, 50, the videos sped up over here. And then I have two monitors and this, all, this also took like, I don't know, 40 seconds because my hard drive is very old. So that's not related to the process. But after that, as you can see, I have access to Windows one more time. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to reset the BIOS password for this Asus model that has a button. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.